Hi Virgo, it's Sonia from Angel Light Healing. Thank you so much for joining me. This is your reading for the month of July 2019. As you can see, I've already gone ahead and shuffled the cards for you. The cards I've used are from the Moonology Oracle cards, the magical messages from the fairies, the messages from your angels, the Goddess Guidance Oracle cards, the Angel Therapy cards, and the Romance Angels. So if you are after your own personal reading, get in contact with me at angellighthealing at outlook.com. If you are after one of my packs, this is a meditation and clearing pack. It includes my beautiful clearing spray here, which I've infused with essential oils as well as oils that I've made. Um, great for clearing any space in the home, work, or car. And a chunk of selenite there, which is a great crystal to have when you're meditating. These are $30. If you are after you, uh, just the spray bottle, that's $20 there. Okay, so if you, um, it's a great alternative than using um, and burning sage. So if you don't want to create the smoke, this is a great alternative. And also my beautiful um, evil eye pendants here, glass eye there with the colors of the chakras. I've used crystals there. And these are $10, great to clear any negativity, any evil energy, and to promote protection and miracles. Okay, so Virgo, as I said, this is your reading for the month of July. Now, for some of you, you may not know this, but we are coming into a Mercury retrograde as of the 8th of July. This does go for about four weeks, okay? So during this time, it's important that... Um, you're not really signing contracts or documents, important documents. You are paying attention and reading the fine print. Um, when it comes to purchasing property technology, this can also um, turn out to be void. So just really be mindful of this. Um, and your emotions may be up and down during this cycle as well. So I'll give you a message at the end of your reading in regards to this Mercury retrograde. Before the month of July, let's get started. What is it that we need to know? Okay. So Virgo, confidence is your key to success. Beautiful card. So for some of you, perhaps you've been lacking confidence in a certain situation within yourselves. Um, it could be within a relationship. It could be within a job um, or just yourself in general. They're saying here that you are a confident, strong and courageous human being. For some of you, you may be dealing with a Leo in a relationship. Um, yeah, the Leos do or the lion does represent courage and strength. Um, and this is about you working on your life purpose as well. Okay, so confidence. You are confident, you are abundant, and there is a new beginning because this, this is a new moon in Leo. So this is a great start for the month of July. Yeah, be bold and make the first move. So they're really asking you here to step out of your comfort zone, Virgo. Um, this is about you chasing your dreams and desires, okay? And to be fearless here. Okay, this is about getting your power back. All right, and to be fearless, to be um, self dependent, and to be confident. Okay, the next card is your hard work is paying off. Beautiful, new moon in Capricorn. So you may be dealing with a Capricorn here, Virgo, in a relationship, but they're saying here is once you build your confidence, okay, and you uh, take that leap of faith, you're stepping out of your comfort zone, um, you will start to reap the rewards. This can be definitely within a relationship, a job. Um, your health, focusing on yourself, whatever it may be, all right? So this is um, definitely, I've, I'm picking up here, an opportunity is going to come to some of you in the month of July. So just grab it with um, both hands, and that, that's what the horns represent, is opportunity. So that's exciting. Okay, travel is on the cards. So an upcoming trip proves to be life-changing in positive ways. So for some of you, you've been thinking about booking a trip away somewhere, you know, um, just to clear your mind perhaps, just to relax, get some respite here, you know, just get yourself some peace of mind. So for some of you in the month of July, you are either traveling or you're going to book a trip away. All right, so I do see water. So this trip will either be near the water um, so spending time near the beach, but it can also represent overseas travel for some of you. Okay, the next card is your love life. The basis of your question involves your romantic life, which is now changing for the better. Okay, so for some of you, perhaps you've lost confidence in the area of love. 
Okay, and this is about you regaining that confidence, starting to date again. Um, but the love life does also include yourself. So just ensure here that you are giving yourself the unconditional love that you need and deserve and that you're nurturing yourself. Okay, but they're saying here is that you are a lovable person. Um, this is about you being bold. Perhaps you need to make the first move towards this person. This can also involve the twin flame path as well. So this is going to get better. There will be communication. I see the two of them here looking at each other. So definitely communication is coming in. And I'm picking up, this is someone from the past as well, guys. The next card is inner wisdom. Beautiful. You know what to do. Trust your inner wisdom and take appropriate action without delay. So when I see the owl, it represents that you are an intuitive person, Virgo. So trust your gut in this situation. The green does represent Archangel Raphael, which is the Archangel of healing. Okay, so there is healing that um, needs to take place here. You are healing old wounds that are connected to definitely love, that are connected to past hurts, that are connected to perhaps um, to do with a job, your health. Um, but green is also the color of your heart chakra. So this is definitely, guys, this is definitely about love. Okay, so they're saying here, you know what to do in this situation. This is about letting go the past, past relationships, and trusting your inner knowing, moving forward. Okay, the next card is Athena. Yep. Yeah. It is safe for you to be powerful. You know how to be powerful in a loving way that benefits others as well as yourself. So Virgos, this I'm picking up on the feminines here. This is about you standing on your own two feet, having the confidence to do this, okay? Being independent, all right? So it's okay. It's safe for you to be powerful, all right? But you know how to do this. You know how it's going to benefit others because you do it in a loving way. Okay, so don't let the power get to your head. However, they're saying here that it's okay to, yeah, stand on your own two feet, be independent, achieve your dreams, your goals, your desires. You've got this, okay? For some, perhaps you've been feeling a little um, unconfident, but you do have, you exude the confidence, okay? And you are a beautiful being as well because there's a lot of beauty around this person here. If you get nervous, focus on service. Yeah, so for those of you who are, um, yeah, lacking confidence again or getting nervous, they're saying you to change your focus here. So focus on service, focus on helping others, focus on the job, focus on the family, uh, focus on taking care of your own needs. Again, standing in your power, speaking your truth, confronting someone perhaps. This could be someone from your past as well. You know, dealing with um, the love life here in order to let it go. This is about getting your power back, okay? So don't get nervous. And when you do, change your focus, all right? Now, in regards to romance, it is safe for you to love. Yes, it is. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. So for a lot of you Virgos out there, you have ha have been hurt in relationships here. They're saying don't give up faith or hope in regards to love or relationships. It is safe for you to move forward, okay? It is safe for you to move forward and to move past, um, you know, the hurt that you've endured in the past relationship. Perhaps this is, you know, a breakdown of a marriage, a separation, a divorce. They're saying it's okay for you to move on. All right, for some of you, you're focusing or your focus has been on children here. Um, but when I see the horse, it represents movement and it's forward movement. Yeah, past life relationship. So for some of you, someone from your past will be coming back in the month of July. Okay, someone is going to tell you that they, their emotions, their feelings for you. Um, again, I am picking up on the twin flame path here. So this is... You know this person, you know who your twin flame is because you both mirror each other. You share the same likes, the same wants. So it is safe for you to, to love. But I do feel like someone is coming back because the next card you got is trust. Perhaps trust has been something that you've lost in your past relationships and it's something that you need to rebuild within yourself. Okay, because they're asking you to have faith here. Have trust and have faith that you are deserving of love. 
okay? And you will find that. So in the month of July, you know, you are going to be definitely working on building your confidence in regards to relationships and love. Um, and you'll watch that you'll reap the rewards here because um, there is an opportunity coming in definitely to do with your love life. You've been thinking about traveling. For some of you, you will be. You might meet this person during your travel. But for others on the twin flame path, you already know who your twin flame is. So it's about you having trust and faith in this connection. Okay, so that is your reading for the month of July. Now, I did mention, Virgo, also about the um, Mercury retrograde. So the message for you during this time is saying, during this period, you need to organize your personal life. Some important aspects are re-emerging now to redefine your own personality, to rediscover a new way of interacting with others. Wow, that just follows what I've said in regards to building your confidence and um, a new love coming in or reigniting passion in a twin flame connection here. So this is definitely about you working on yourself um, and your personal life this month. Okay, Virgo, if you are after your own personal reading, get in contact with me at angellighthealing at outlook.com. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and like my videos. Many angel blessings to you all. Thanks, guys. Bye.